Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by once again as we sample some more great tasting of freaking craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have a lovely beer that was sent to me by my good friend Kojak. Oh, and this is going to be a killer. I'm going to tell you why I didn't drink this a long time ago. It says store cold, drink fresh. Well, I stored it cold, but I didn't drink it fresh, and I'm going to tell you why. But first, this is from the Turning Point Brewing Company out of Bedford, Texas. And this is the Maz Dorati. Maz Dorati. Yeah, I guess it's a Maserati disguised as a beer, right? Well, I tell you what, this is a brewed man with macadamia nuts and coffee. It's an imperial stout, and it's a killer. It checks in at 12.2% alcohol. Ooh, it's going to be a good one, mama. <laughs> Let's put it over here, just in case we have an accident. You never know about these things. So Kojak sent this beer to me with a few others. It's probably been around Christmas time, I would say. Yeah, but I was sick with COVID. Now, I didn't have COVID right then, but I got it soon enough. And I, I haven't had a beer in four months, man, I'm telling you. And um, all these beers are out there in the refrigerator and in the pantry. And now I'm just beginning to tackle them. Now, this is a turning point uh, glassware. I can't. Oh, here's the logo. I feel it. Yeah, oh, you can see it a little bit. Turning point. Kojak sent that to me as well. And uh, you saw that that poured out. I don't like to use the description motor oil because it doesn't do a beer justice. You know, motor oil. Who wants to drink motor oil? But it was a dark black color. Okay. Yeah, I mean, midnight black. And you see it in the glass. And you see that head. Man, that head is... Oh, and it's thick, too. Look, it's thick. It's not going anywhere. I'm betting that this beer is going to just about knock me out. And it is the finisher for the evening. Um, Man, it's 12.2%. Now, I'm not a big coffee drinker. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't like coffee at all. Um, in a beer though, I can drink it. It's, it's okay in a beer, but let's, let's get to the aroma. Let's, let's find out. Oh, wow. The coffee is taking center stage in here. Um, I'm betting those macadamia nuts are in there. I can get a little bit of a nutty aroma, but I wouldn't say that it's macadamia nuts. But without further ado, I want to thank Kojak for sending this to me. I want to thank all the brewers at the Turning Point Brewery for all the hard work they put into brewing each and every batch of beer. I'm telling you guys and gals, every beer that I've had that Kojak sent to me has been a knockout. It's been a killer beer. A couple of them were really outstanding. I wish I lived closer. I would spend time at the tap room. But anyway, cheers to everybody, no doubt. Notice how gingerly I drank that because it's 12.2. Now, unfortunately for me, the coffee is taking center stage and I don't get a whole lot of anything else. So I don't know if I should have served this colder or warmer. Because, uh, man, that coffee is just drowning out everything else that I know is good in there. I'm getting some roasted malts in there and the coffee. 
I'm a little disappointed. Um, the age has nothing to do with it. Uh, this beer would keep for months and months and months. So the beer is decent. Don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with this beer. <laughs> it's quite good, as a matter of fact. I was just hoping for a little bit more nutty aroma and flavor because I love macadamia nuts. Oh, man. My favorite. Yeah. I can't find them in the store half the time, though. When I do, I buy all they have. Oh, I do. Yeah. Um, sometimes can't even find them on Amazon. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to experiment with this beer a little bit. I'm going to put this part back into the refrigerator and let it get cold. And this, I'm going to let it sit out and warm up and see if it'll bring forth uh, any nutty flavors or aromas. But let's talk about the beer as is. Man. Ooh, we. <laughs> this is a strong stout. Remember, it's 12.2%. Now, after I took that third sip, I did get a little bit of heat from the alcohol, a little bit of warmth. Yeah, it's not it's not boozy. This beer is not boozy at all. And this would be a great breakfast beer. A lot of guys like to drink uh, this kind of beer for breakfast. This would be an excellent breakfast beer. Or it would be a good finisher for the evening. Now, this is a, a very dark beer, so I can't imagine drinking uh, another beer after this, especially a Pilsner or Lager or even an IPA. No, because your taste buds are, are kind of weighed down with the coffee and the roasted malt. So, yeah, this, this will be a finisher for the evening unless you're going to have another style just like this. But, yeah. That's up to you. 12.2% uh, is good for me, though. Yeah, because tonight we're going to change the clocks. So this will be good. This will put me right to sleep. No, no problem. Yeah. Speaking of that, I hope they stop that nonsense pretty soon. Let's just stay on standard time. Yeah, I know people don't want to go to daylight savings time because it, it's so dark in the winter. The sunrise wouldn't wouldn't happen until after 8 a.m. So let's just stay on standard time and stop this nonsense. Uh, do other countries do this? Yeah, you know what? Um, well, I don't. I have the comments turned off. Uh, there's a lot of reasons I have the comments turned off. But send me, shoot me an email. My email is easy to find. It's under the About tab on my YouTube channel. I, I don't try to hide from anybody. Yeah, shoot me an email and let me know if you're from Australia or um, New Zealand or I don't care. You, you're from uh, uh, Vietnam. Let me know. Do you change the clocks in your country? Because I'm thinking you don't. <laughs> yeah. This beer, small sips. Small sips. I'm telling you, small sips. But uh, Kojak, thanks so much for passing this beer along to me. The Mazdarati. Mazdarati. Imperial Stout, 12.2% brewed with coffee and macadamia nuts. Man, I'm going to leave this sit out and I'll put that back in the fridge. And we're going to find out what the story is about this beer. And the next time I review a Turning Point beer, I'll put my two cents in on it. Yeah, because life is short. You got to be happy. You know what I always say. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. Hey, as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. 
So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. 
This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.